Hello friends, this is Scott, and this is from last weekend down at the hobby farm. It's the same weekend I did the garlic video, that was my last video. But the animals, you know, after I put in the access gate, uh, the horse and the two cows uh, were able to get back into the pasture. And although it wasn't very tall, it, they did exactly what I wanted them to do in a very short period of time. Not even weeds are sticking up out of this. Uh, they really munched it down. And so it's probably a little bit overgrazed, but... Uh, it looks good, and that's how I want it to go into winter, and I don't have to mow the back pasture again. So did it once this year. I did it a couple times last year, so maybe next year I don't have to mow it at all. We'll see. But uh, <laughs> I'm happy with uh, with what the animals did, and that little access gate worked wonders. And, uh, yeah, they're just uh, now they have a little bit more room to, to wander around, and, and uh, hopefully they don't eat it down too much more. But uh, they'll need to be moved somewhere else. For winter but that's the neighbor's uh, deal so well i've seen the back pasture look so good i started looking at my planting beds and they don't look so good uh, i've been meaning to put edging in but again time and resources uh, the summer got away from me again and i did not get to the to this project so but you don't have to necessarily pay money to to fix some of these problems you can go in and just do some nice edging with a shovel and do some weeding and uh, this is in front of the, right by the front door, and there's lots of bindweed in there. And this area doesn't look so terrible. I've, I've done a little bit of weed and feed, which is what I don't like to do, but I'm going to do another application. But as you can see, the grasses have infiltrated the, uh, the planting beds. And uh, without edging, you, you're going to have problems. So I'm just going to clean this up, and as the, as the days and nights are getting cooler, I don't think they're gonna, this stuff's going to grow that much more. So I think if I get it looking good this trip down, I, I think it'll stay looking good until next spring. So we'll see how that goes. Still have to do a final mowing, but uh, overall, uh, I think if I get this edging looking a little ship shape, it'll be it'll be good. Now this is the area that I've not done anything with this year, and it's literally weed infested. And now this was you know hoko culture underneath, and then topsoil on top, and then I dumped all the grass clippings that I've from the mowings on top of that. So there's just layer and layer of, of grass clippings. And you'll see some wood chips on the one side by the tree right here, but I don't have enough wood chips to do do the rest. But, you know, the weeds have grown back up and it took me you know, literally an hour probably to do this section. But uh, I was able to get in both sides of the fence and spread out the uh, grass clippings. Again, there's, you know, maybe you know six to eight inches of grass clippings on, on most of this bed. So there's there should be enough to start smothering the weeds you know, weeds are funny. You know, they can push up through uh, some mulch, but then when you rip them out again, they get weaker and weaker, and pretty soon they don't have the strength to get through the mulch. So that's the plan, and that's the hope. But I uh, got all that up, cleaned up, and then I'm just going to show you the before and after uh, as I'm cleaning up around the house. And probably not the most exciting video, but, you know, it's to me it's exciting because it makes everything look really, really ship-shape. Now, the grass has really come back on this side of the yard uh, just by watering and a little bit of uh, weed and feed. Uh, got lots of weed still, so it's just going to be kind of a never-ending uh, battle until this grass thickens up. But grass is an aggressive plant, and uh, you take care of it, and it'll it'll push the weeds out. So I went through and I dug everything out, kind of a four foot away from the house, as straight as I could get it, with you know, by eyeballing it, and uh, once in a while I measured, and uh, yeah, looks pretty good. Again, it's nice to have a little bit of line uh, where you separate your, your planting beds from your grass. So once I get some uh, landscape timbers or whatever I decide to do, it'll, it'll, it'll look really ship shape and stay that way, hopefully. Well, the bindweed in this section is, is pretty bad, and it's in my hen and chicks, so I can't just take a shovel and dig this stuff up. I've got to just get in here and just rip it out. So did that. It wasn't a too tough of a job, but you know, when, you're, when, you have, when you're trying to work around plants that you don't want to disturb, uh, you're going to have roots in there, so they're just, they're just going to come back. But I stuck a lot of layers of, of wood chips here, probably four to six inches, and they've shrunk down, and, and the weeds are coming through them again. So you always got to add more wood chips. Now here's my berry bushes that I planted last year, and they did really well this year. I mean, they're really getting established. There's a couple of raspberries you see in the front there that I'm going to move over to the side yard. I'll show you in a minute. But these are goji berries. I've got two goji berry plants, and if you've never tasted these, they're a, they're kind of a watermelon, kind of a weak watermelon taste. So they're pretty. They're, I think they're full of vitamin C. So they're a, they're kind of a good berry to have. You can make jams, I guess, out of them. But I have limited experience with goji berry, but I think I'm gonna have a lot more because uh, they're growing, growing nicely. But 
going through here, getting this weeded and cleaned up looks better. Still have to do the other side of the fence in the back, but I need more cardboard so I can keep on uh, making planting beds and screening soil from this big pile of dirt. As you see though, the dirt is disappearing. I mean, it seems pretty ominous. If you ever go back to my one of my first videos, this was a you know major mounted hill. So now it's pretty much flattened out. And uh, that's the garden area where I did screen some, you know, a few layers of, of soil and put over there. Had my first fire down here other than burn barrels, and that was nice. So we sat out here and uh, kind of created a flat spot, but uh, that'll be a sunken patio. And uh, that, you know, I think I'll get a bigger fire pit, but I did find a couple of these wall block that were busted up uh, that were in this pile of dirt, and uh, they'll be the perfect steps, I think, for on the other side there. I'm gonna make some steps up into the garden area, and that'll be my first two steps, I think. So I'm gonna build a wall, as you see, right the yellow, by that yellow garbage can is gonna be where the steps are, I think. But I did screen, but you know, maybe four or five uh, wheelbarrow full. Uh, this is the rock that, you know, get screened out of the stuff. I did 13 loads on this side. So again, there was grass clippings, uh, was the last layer, and now I've uh, retopped it with uh, screened soil. And uh, the next trip down, I'm gonna bring some compost, and then this is where I'm gonna plant a bunch of raspberries. And I think I'm just gonna get them from my own backyard, dig them up, and move them, because my raspberry bed's getting pretty wore out, and uh, I'm gonna bring them down here, I think, and, uh, and then I'll freshen up that soil in Salt Lake. But Here's where I'm at on my big pile of dirt, and now I just need to get a pickaxe and start uh, caving this in and, and removing this soil. It's going to be a sunken patio on that side, and then I'll build a kind of a terrace wall on this side. But overall, I was pleased with the amount of work I got done and the, the amount of work the animals did in the back pasture. And again, this was the trip that I did plant the garlic, so I got quite a bit done. I was down here for literally four nights, so it was a, it was a nice trip. And uh, the weather is just gorgeous. It's nice, cool fall. Uh, temperature is still warm in the day and, and nice and cool at night. So it's a pleasure to be outside working all day rather than having to take breaks in the heat of the sun. So anyway, uh, back to planting beds. And then when the weather flies, uh, the snow flies, we'll be back inside doing more remodeling inside the Hobby Farm home. So anyway, well, I hope you like this video and I uh, hope you can see the progress that I'm seeing uh, in this place. We're coming to the close of, the, of my going on my year and a half of owning this property and got quite a bit done. Uh, but we still have a lot more to do and uh, looking forward to it. I, you know, I don't want to use heavy machinery. I want to know every inch of this, of this property and, and uh, I'm going to do it and just wait and see. Thanks for watching.